Rumors have Samsung giving us multiple launches in Q1 2014. We get a new Bluetooth standard that proves significant enhancements, and the Yoda phone finally gets launched even though a lot of people don't care anymore. I'm Jaime Rivera, and all I need now is an extra dose of coffee to actually edit this video. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Google has just updated their search application again. And the services now include some interesting enhancements. First of all, app integration from the Google Play Store into the search feed. So now, for example, if there's something that you can do more with with an application, you can install it from there. And aside from that, you also get the option to actually launch specific apps after a search query. Like, for example, if you're looking for movies, you can launch the IMDb application. Really interesting updates. Let's hope they reach your phone soon. An interesting update is that now we have a new Bluetooth standard, which would be 4.1. And the reason why this one is important is because Bluetooth and LTE pretty much share almost the same frequencies. And this is to avoid any sort of interference between either of these bands. And aside from that, one of the major enhancements is the fact that now it'll try to reconnect itself instead of having you try to reconnect the products that you currently have to do. But obviously you'll have to wait for a phone that includes this update, but it's great to see that it's up there. And for all three of you that have been waiting for that dual screen Yoda phone with that e-ink display in the back, well, it's finally announced in Russia. You can buy it now, but it's really interesting. I mean, the company has taken more than a year to actually launch this phone up to the point where it's completely not interesting anymore. And still, it's available for sale now. You can buy it in Russia. Still, again, we don't really think that it's going to make a major dent, even though this technology is interesting. Let's hope it comes to other phones in the future. And for more interesting and odd news, we've got new reports of Samsung's next gimmick as they've just filed a patent for transparent displays. And yeah, the idea is that you'll be able to operate your phone from the back with your fingers, but we think this is more camera technology that'll tell you where your fingers are and not really a transparent display because if they figure that one out, then we'll have to see the gimmicky transparent batteries that you won't be able to swap because you won't be able to see, right? And finally, for the interesting news of the day, it seems that Samsung is planning multiple launches in Q1 2014, which is really odd, as Samsung usually has their unpacked events, and they rarely ever use CES to launch something or MWC. The last time they launched the phone at CES was the Galaxy Note 1 back at CES two years ago. That was really the AT&T variant, not really the launch of the Galaxy Note itself. And then MWC has seen just, you know, lesser quality phones and not really flagships. So the question is, what are we getting at these events? we've heard about the Galaxy Note 3 Lite aside from probably other updates, but that leads you to the question of the day. Are you planning to buy a Samsung phone in 2014? If so, which one? In my particular case, I am really in love with the Galaxy Note lineup so much so that I am waiting for the Galaxy Note 4 whenever it comes out, but leave us a comment down below. What about you? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.